today is the first day of the last week before a two-week recess. Um, I think a lot of the political interest isn't going to be on the House, it's going to be on the announcement, which uh, hasn't been made at the time I'm recording this, as to who the new opposition leader is. Uh, and that person will be very quickly on the parliamentary stage uh, because there's a question number two in the name of Bill English. And I'm assuming that the new National Party leader will ask that question to the Prime Minister. It's a standard old question. Uh, does she stand by her government's policies and actions? Uh, then we'll head into uh, another uh, interesting discussion between Jerry Brownlee, the Minister uh, of Foreign Affairs. These are, these are real battles of wits. Uh, they're, they're always interesting, uh, never overly serious, uh, but a real parliamentary debate to the extent that you can do it at question time. Uh, and then we, we will have a series of what are now becoming standard questions. Uh, Nathan Guy to biosecurity, um, Paul Goldsmith to employment, uh, Melissa Lee to broadcasting communications, digital media, Jamie Lee Ross to local government. Uh, all of them are, are asking questions uh, down a track where the opposition um, believe that they're making progress. We then go on to legislation. The... Uh, first bill has no debate, it's the Appropriation um, uh, Confirmation and Validation Bill. Um, it's part of the annual review process for last financial year. And, and then we have the first debate on an international treaty. It's a, it's a Marrakesh Treaty. And we're trying out a new system where um, a report from a select committee um, on the bill uh, is going to take the place of the first reading uh, of the of the legislation to implement it. So it will be uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be led by Jonathan Young, uh, who chairs the select committee instead of a minister leading it, uh, and um, and it gives an early opportunity uh, for people to discuss. Um, a, a, a treaty. This one is about um, access to published works for people who are blind or visually Im, uh, impaired or basically aren't able to, to read uh, written material. Um, so there'll be 12 10 minute speeches on that. And then we'll have the taxation annual rates for 2017 and a few other matters bill. Um, this has got to be passed by the 31st of March uh, to set the tax rates. Um, uh, other, otherwise, the, uh, the collection of tax for this year, uh, this financial year, um, won't uh, be legal. Uh, and it's and it's it is really interesting that you know we're getting uh, to the last month uh, of the tax year, uh, and officially the rates haven't been set yet. Theoretically, they could be changed, uh, but of course that won't happen.